PHP Storm 2019.1 is now released. Let's take a quick look at what's new and improved in this version. If you work with templates, such as Twig or Laravel's Blade, debugging instantly becomes tricky. Your only option is to locate the PHP file compiled from the template and debug this file instead. Luckily, this is no longer the case. You can now debug your templates directly. You only need to specify where the compiled templates are stored. In the settings, go to Languages and Frameworks, PHP, Debug, Templates, and set the paths to the respective folders for Twig or Blade. Additionally, in the case of Twig, make sure that the debug and auto reload configuration options are set. Having done that, set a breakpoint in the template file, enable listening to incoming connections, and dive into debugging. Just as with regular PHP files, all debugging benefits are available. See the execution context and variables, add watches, run step by step, and all others. With the new unused declaration inspection, you can now deal with legacy code base and remove dead code. When you work in the editor, PHP Storm will highlight classes, class members, and functions that are probably never used. To view all unused declarations, run the inspection in batch mode, select code, run inspection by name, and then choose the unused declaration inspection. In the inspection results, you will see all the detected issues with their descriptions and a set of handy actions to mitigate them. As always, PHP Storm comes with some new refactorings, intentions, and quick fixes to make your daily coding routines just a bit easier. To speed up working with string literals, we've added several extra manipulation actions. Simply press Alt-Enter on a string and convert interpolation to a Sprint F call, or convert it back into a concatenated string, or Simply copy a concatenated string to clipboard to use it elsewhere. With the new move to class refactoring, you can move functions or constants from a PHP file to a class. PHP Storm will find and modify all their usages too. You can even move several functions simultaneously. To do this, select them first in the structure tool window or the structure view pop-up, and then move as usual. Now, if we add a new method inside our class that does not use any instance references, PHP Storm will detect it and provide a handy quick fix. Press Alt plus Enter on the method and make it static. Using the special phpstorm.meta.php file, you can specify the list of functions, their expected arguments, and return values to use when completing code. We've already added a bunch of functions there. Now, instead of some simple type, you will see the specified set of values suggested. But what's more, this file is provided with the open source PHP stubs. You can contribute to its development or supply your own as part of your framework or library. See our blog for more details. Another good news, the cleanup tool, which you can run by selecting code, code cleanup, has been enhanced to include the replace qualifier with import and remove unnecessary qualifier actions, letting you optimize imports. In addition, you can fix code style issues with PHP CS Fixer or PHP Code Sniffer's PHP Code Beautifier and Fixer. And of course, you can run the tool automatically before committing changes to VCS. In PHP Storm 2019.1, you can press Ctrl plus Shift plus E to view the recent locations. Press the same keys again to only show the edited files. Each location provides you with the context of what you've been editing. If the locations are numerous, simply start typing to search for the necessary one and jump to it quickly. This release also brings support for custom themes. You can install any of the available theme plugins or customize the color of any IDE element and save it as a new theme plugin. This sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2019.1 but there's a lot more for you to try out. To learn more, see our blog at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and download the new version from jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.